Yo, YouTube, what is good? It's Agus. In this video, I'm going to do a quick breakdown of how to play Fire Mage in the new patch 10.0.1 in PvP. Uh, obviously, we're only like two days into the patch, so stuff is subject to change, but this should be enough to get um, everyone rolling in the right direction, at least. So I'm not saying that what I have here is the locked in, you know, solidified information for the rest of the season, but it should get you going. And I do believe that Fire Mage will play like this or pretty similar to like this in in the future so just to kind of break down what's changed fire mage has gotten a lot of a lot of damage buffs to the point where it's actually doing decent damage now i don't know the buffs in particular but just know that it is enough it does feel like it's pumping now so fire mage does feel like it's viable again which is really good so we have flame cannon here which is going to be a huge part of our play style which i'll explain in a second glass cannon which is going to drastically increase our damage and then we have flame accelerant is going to be the new one that we're playing instead of we used to be playing fiery rush we're going to take fiery rush out now it's nerfed in pvp so it's not even really worth it and we're going to put one into flame accelerant here so just to kind of read these modifiers for you so you know how we're doing damage uh, if you have not cast fireball for eight seconds your next fireball will deal 70 percent increased damage with a 20 uh 20 percent reduced cast time the reason we're not putting two in here is because um, the second point in Flame Accelerant isn't going to give you more damage. It's just going to give you that extra reduced cast speed, which is not really worth another talent point as you would have to either give up anything over here. And you don't really want to give up anything uh, on this tier. So now for the PvP talents, because that's pretty much all that's changed uh, in the build since last season. PvP talents were actually made running Glass Cannon now because it... This used to be 40% and it also used to not uh, include Ignite. So now it says increases damage of Fireball, Scorch, and Ignite by 100%, but decreases your maximum health by 15%. So we'll address the uh, the health part in a second, but basically just know that this talent means really, really big Fireballs. Very, very, very uh, hard, hard hitting Fireballs. So now we're going to talk about Flame Cannon, which is kind of the staple of the playstyle of Fire Mage right now. This is the talent that we're kind of playing around so every two seconds in combat with no enemies closer than 15 yards your maximum health will increase by three percent damage by three percent and the range of your spells your fire spells by three percent stacks up to five times in the last three seconds so just to give you like a little visualization here let me um, show you guys so you can see this stacking buff on me and you'll see every time it stacks up increases my health damage and my range so i just want you guys to be able to visualize this range so right here is how far away i can attack my target do you guys see the range on this so i just wanted to show you i guess to so you guys can visualize this is how like that's pretty crazy range and you can see just a basic damage rotation right there that was just me kind of just pressing some damage you know and uh yeah, wow, that did some crazy damn. So I'll, I'll try to break that down a little bit. So the reason why I think, by the way, Glass Cannon, the health deficit won't matter as much as maybe I once thought is because you have this range to work with. So if you can get this range going, it's going to be really hard for, tar uh, for people to actually get to you in the first place. So you can kind of play like a glass cannon you know if people get to you um you're gonna definitely take some damage but it's gonna be really hard for people to get to you i think now keep in mind this is only fire spells you can see i can't sheep from this far or um use other spells like counter spell for example so let me just shoot this target back to full and then i'll show you guys how to do the damage now so now that we've talked about the play style kind of how you want to be playing you want to be playing 55 yard range from people um just blasting from that range with flame cannon and that that's how you kind of want to maintain your stacks then now we can talk about the damage rotation itself so basically what we're going to do our basic rotation is just going to be fireball um is going to be priority when you have your flame accelerant proc that getting that off will be huge you can see how much damage it does here 103k with no modifiers just base base fireball um and then from here you want to weave fire blast and pyro blast I have my tinder proc back so i'll use that okay hold on he died i'll, I'll go into the, the the room here to show you this part because i need a target with a little bit more hp here 
Okay, so we're gonna talk about your consistent damage rotation here. Um, basically, what's what you're gonna do when you walk into the arena. Fire does damage like this. Uh, for every two crits in a row, you get rewarded with a pyroblast. So you can read hot streak here. Getting two direct damage critical strikes in a row with fire spells will make your next pyroblast or flame strike instant cast and double the normal ignite damage. Um, so basically, just to talk about ignite as well. Ignite is your mastery. For any direct damage you're dealing to the target, you're going to leave a dot on the target. You can see here, if I just double Fire Blast Pyro, you'll see Ignite on the uh, target here. And this is going to be increased by our Glass Cannon as well. So Ignite is going to be a big part of our damage. But anyways, now that you kind of know the idea of Fire is sort of to get those two crits in a row so that you can get that instant cast Pyro and then send that in, I'll kind of break it down for you right here. So like I said earlier, you want to just send in the Fireball. Um, if they're above 90% health, you will crit thanks to fire starter. All fire blasts, or sorry, all fireballs and pyros will crit above 90%. So you send that in right away. And then now that you have a half a proc here, what you would want to do is you would want to fire blast. And that'll complete the pyro. You'll send that in. And basically, you just want to keep doing that. You can see the pyro blast didn't crit. So then you would have to send two more fire blasts to get the next one. That one didn't crit. So we'll try it. Uh, so now we need to fireball here. That didn't crit so then we'll use a phoenix flames then we'll go into a fire blast and you can see these two random procs here um, these are also random procs that you're going to get throughout the game the combustion proc is from time anomaly at any moment you have a chance to gain combustion and what combustion is going to do is it's going to guarantee every spell that you have is going to crit so when you pop combustion every pyro is going to crit every fireball is going to crit every everything's going to crit and then the other proc that you saw there was hyperthermia it's whenever a uh, hot streak activates, you have a low chance to cause all fire or all pyros to have no cast time and be guaranteed crits. So basically, it's combustion as well. Um, so we'll go over that one more time. Fireball just to start off. Did it crit? No. Double fire blast pyro. Did that crit? Yes. So we'll send a phoenix flames now. That crit or that has a 100% crit rate. The pyro crit. So now we'll send in our fire blast. Get the other pyro. Our tinder procs off cooldown. So we'll send that in. Does it crit? no so we'll double fire blast pyro that crit it did so we'll phoenix flames i get a combustion proc here so now i can just start um spamming a little bit because that's going to guarantee stuff crits so i'll send in my pyro here to that crit it did not so i'll send in a phoenix fire blast to get my next proc and then here what you can do is you can combine your tinder with your pyro and this will be big burst because they're hitting at the same time so fireball pyro neither of them crit so then I would send in Phoenix Fire Blast to get my next proc. Send that one in. And you guys get the idea. You're just trying to create a flow of um, your Phoenixes and your Fire Blasts to get instant cast procs. And then you want to send in your Tinder off cooldown uh, whenever that's good. If it doesn't crit, then obviously you would use your other things here. And then this is the Hyperthermia proc I was talking about. When you get this, you just want to spam Pyros. So that's kind of your basic idea. That's your basic rotation that you'll be doing outside of combustion whenever there's a target uh, that you just are trying to burst down and maybe you don't have combust. That's just going to be your normal damage rotation. So now we'll go into the burst damage or your combust rotation. Your burst damage now because that was sort of the consistent damage like what you're doing from if you're just standing there a million miles away free casting. This is going to be your big combustion go now. So ideally, if you can get a ring of fire down, that would be ideal. Then you want to fireball, combust, double fire blast, pyro, pyro. Phoenix flames, pyro, fire blast, pyro. Phoenix flames, pyro. Your tender is off cooldown. Send that in, fire blast, pyro, pyro. So that's a bit, um, I realized that was a bit fast. I can kind of slow that down and we can talk about it more in like a voiceover format. So let's do that real quick. All right, I'm going to break down the burst rotation a little bit slower pace here. So you can see here, we're casting a ring of fire preemptively. This is just kind of like greed if you can get it. You know, if you can get that ring of fire before you burst, it's going to be nice added damage on your burst. Um, but a lot of the times you maybe can't send that right away because the game is just starting too fast. You need to get the burst damage rolling. Maybe a stun DR was sent. You need to start damaging. So here we go. We're going to start our fireball. What we're going to do midway in the fireball is you want to pop combustion combustion can be cast mid cast so you just pop combustion and then you can see also i'll try to do this you can see right here um i can't show you with my mouse because it'll pop up but you can see my fire blast is highlighted right now 
what I'm doing is I'm double clicking fire blast and spamming pyro at the same time. So boom, fire blast, fire blast. Before the fireball has sent, what this is going to do is gonna, it's going to give you one proc. And then since you're spamming f uh, your pyro keybind, you'll see my number two light up here. Boom. So basically what this does now is it has a fireball and a pyro both midair at the same exact time. So you, you're fireballing combustion double fire blast pyro pyro because your fireball here and your pyro are going to hit at the same time for crazy burst 123k and then the um the pyro hit for 56k so that's like 200k damage right there instantly and then you get a second pyro blast from that that you send also instantly and then that one hits for 58k and then from here all you're doing is you're just weaving instant casts so I use a Phoenix Flames charge here because what you want to do is you want to space out your Fire Blast charges because of the Blaster Master um, buff here. Or I think it's called Field of Burn now. So you want to, you don't want to send this one instantly because you want to maintain this stack. So I send a Phoenix as like a little filler. That's going to give me my next Pyro proc. So I'll send that and then I'll Fire Blast before my Blaster stacks fall. That'll refresh the mastery buff that you get to ensure your Ignite uh, is going to be as big as possible. The entire time because what feel the burn does is increase your mastery and your mastery is how much ignite damage you're leaving on the target and your ignite is going to build up from how many fire spells you chain into the target so then after the phoenix i send the pyro now i fire blast phoenix flames to fill the gap to get another pyro blast proc you can see my tinder fireball is back up so i'll send that in and i fire blasted here i'll back that up real quick just to show you so you can see here I'm fireballing and I have another so I can do basically the same thing again that I did in the opener I can send a pyro with my tinder fireball at the same time so you can see here fire blast and then the tinder fireball and the pyro hit at the same time and I do the double pyro combo so that's the burst in general um, so yeah let me know if you guys have any questions on that that's really just your, your general burst rotation. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, if something updates, I'll make an updated, updated guide in the future. And that's all I got. Peace, peace. Thanks for watching.